are I assume you two are following him. Yep. Yes. I would, uh I would <laughs> I would suggest ample spacing between us. <laughs> Honey. How funny. But yes. <laughs> he knows jokes. <laughs> Um, You're not sure if that was a joke or not. <laughs> You're worried he might have been serious. I'm going to take it as a joke. Yeah, like no, one. he's he's clearly, yeah. It, it's just him being spiteful. In the world. <laughs> it's him being spiteful. Um, <laughs> is, so the light around us is currently dim? Very dim. Okay. That is all. Uh, I will make mention as well that the uh, ghost is just hovering over one of my shoulders. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will approach the door. I All right. Expect it. Uh, the door does not uh, do anything as you approach, but as Bell approaches, it actually seems to ignite almost with green, uh, th this bright glowing green writing scrawling its way across the door. And it's sort of okay. a jagged script. Uh, is it common or? It is definitely not common. I Fuck, will okay. immediately uh, pull out my spell book. What language is it? Comprehend lang languages. Yeah, what language is it? <laughs> well, Jacob can tell you here in a sec. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have to remember. Is it infernal or elvish? No. Hmm. Is it celestial or primordial? No. It's not draconic or under common, is it? Nope. It's not goblin. Nope. Is it goblin? Negative. Why does the robot speak under common? <laughs> Why not? Uh, because they shoved languages in his head that no one else wanted to learn. I like I am C three PO, human cyborg relations. <laughs> uh Jacob, you uh, or Simon, you cast comprehend languages and suddenly the uh the language of deep speech flows into your mind. Ooh. This language is ancient and commonly known as deep speech. I say, and as I say it, there are like several different voices that kind of echo behind it in a bunch of different languages. Excellent. Uh, what do the words say? Well, let's see. I have to pull up my notes real quick. <laughs> What did I have down for this? The way is shut. Only the blind may see. And it, when I approach it? Yes, it lit up when you approached. Okay. It reads, the way is shut. Only the blind may see. Is it referring to the priest? Mm -hmm. He's, priest. he's, I'm trying to think while, of while he's just voicing this aloud. Have, while yeah. the priest appeared to have ocular impairment, his recognition of everyone, although often false, does speak to the fact that he most likely had uh, maintained a semblance of vision. True sight. Maybe. I do possess such an ability and am currently using it. And he gestures to the eyeglass. Well. Which I assume true sight doesn't uh, give anything extra about the door. Nope. Nope. Well, if the door's not opening for him, then it's not that. I'm just trying to think, can I roll any sort of like arcana nature or like a religion check to see how it could correlate the words in regards to my present? I mean, you can roll an investigation that... check. That's true. 
Uh, 15. If I had a way, I would like to assist by it. I do not have a way. That's okay. Uh, you are not sure why it lit up until you look at the map. Uh-huh. Uh, the map, suddenly in the margin, has some little scrawling script that looks very similar to the script on the door. Simon, the map is changing. Can you please read what's been added? I'll look down at the map. Can I read it? Uh, it's the same script on the door, but only the blind has been underlined. And underneath that is the word speak. Your note taking is impressive. I did not take this note. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes will squint for a second. The script is repeated on the page with the uh, words the blind underlined as well as an addition has been made the word speak correction uh, the words only the blind has been underlined the words only the blind have been underlined thank you this is literally speak friends and only the blind may see speak Freddy's going <laughs> Jeremiah's going to close his eyes and move his head around as if looking at things okay how's that going for you <laughs> I don't know I don't know Jeremiah have you gained a dysfunction <laughs> <laughs> yes a mental one <laughs> no just trying something do not uh, worry. Now, would Once you like you to roll an investigation to... check? <laughs> Once well. you are able to... <laughs> no, hold on. Oh, why don't you roll an investigation check, Kelso? Okay. Because I see what you're trying to do. So, go ahead and investigate. Nine. Oh, boy. Yeah, nope. Nothing. Can I... Can, can, can Simon or I roll one? Continue this line of thought? Depends on if Kelso shares his line of thought. I mean, we can see him closing his eyes and moving his head around. Okay, great. Do not I... worry. Once you are able to obtain more digits, you may be able to withstand such a dysfunction. Well, I'm not going to gouge my eyes out, but perhaps it was a hint at not looking with your eyes. turn my photo receptacles to the door <laughs> I do not possess biological eyes and it looks the same to me as it does to you I assume you do not it will then go into a lengthy description of the door Simon, Simon well, now, now, you now, do not now, have what, eyes what therefore you cannot what, be blind hold on now what was that description uh, Jacob oh god <laughs> oh god <laughs> I've, I, I just this wooden door appears to be made of ancient stone oak that has slowly stone. begun to de <clears throat> has been made out of stone that has been hewn from the surrounding material. It is currently lit ablaze with green flames that possess the written uh, language of uh, deep speech. And then it will continue from there. It will be very boring. If, if you're going to allow me to investigate, I did roll a 19. Okay. Uh, from behind you seems to be a dim purple light. This seems to be coming from the door you entered through. Okay. Is his eyes closed? I assume so. There's a dim purple light coming from where we entered. I will turn. Do I see a dim purple light with my eyes open? Nope. Including with your sight? Yep. A statement is false. Jeremiah also looks towards that direction. First with his eyes open, then with them shut. With them shut, uh, now that it's been pointed out, you do see a very faint purple glow. Ah, see, I was right. 
Excellent. And uh, he's going to start walking towards it. Is this your eyes shut or open? Shut. Okay. Uh, oh God. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. <laughs> Roughly <laughs> Lucky for stone. me, I'm a dexterity character. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at you fail. <laughs> 16. Okay, you don't trip. Uh, you make it to the, uh, the the doorway. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna stop, like fifteen. So is it is it a a single instance of a light, or is it a a light being cast like in the doorway that you can see on the walls? Or is it I like have a flow? No idea how to parse what you have just said. Is it like an actual object that's there that's emanating light, no, or you is cannot, you cannot you cannot see the source? Okay. Uh, then I will walk up to the doorway and lean a little bit out from the corner with my eyes shut to see if I see anything else. So you're entering the doorway. I am... Uh, is it an open doorway or like is it shut? There's no door. Right, so it's just an, a, like an entry... Uh, a threshold. Sure. Yeah, so I'm walking up to that, and then I'm peering around the corner. So are you entering it? I suppose. Okay. Uh, for everyone, uh, everyone else, you're you're watching as uh, Jeremiah like like leans just ever so slightly through this doorway with his his eyes shut, and he just vanishes in a, in a flash of purple light. An intriguing solution to a very juvenile puzzle. Oh me. If you would like, I can lead you across the floor while your eyes are shut so you do not have to stub your foot or trip on the Jeremiah, you can hear all of this because from your perspective, they're right there. I can hear you, Simon. I assume I cannot hear him. You are correct. Would you like me to aid you across the treacherous le ground, Bellamy? Well, we should first see if this is, is magic, obviously, in nature. What result it has, and if whether or not Jeremiah is, number one, still alive, and two, able to s still have some sort of connection to us here. Sometime today, please. <laughs> that is indeed a intriguing theory. How do you propose to go about gaining contact? That's the one thing I do not know. <sighs> and uh, Jeremiah is going to try and take a few steps back towards them. Yep. I trust there's no issue with that? Something comes back. Okay, you two. Something comes back to the... No, I'm kidding. It's Jeremiah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> This is a Cronenberg movie all along. Okay. <laughs> a solution has presented itself. Greetings, Jeremiah. <laughs> you guys coming or what? Well, what we happened? We're waiting to see if you had perished. You disappeared. I've I've been here the whole time. You're just talking to us with your eyes closed still. I hope not. So. Any, not anymore now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no. Since I'm actually looking at them, not towards the source this is a great shame a great shame <laughs> you appear uh, to have been teleported out of the room once you entered the door with your uh, senses dulled did uh, you see anything Jer on the other side purple uh <laughs> you forget to open your eyes uh jeremiah kind of stops listening to simon at the moment because he he's now he's now pondering the implications and he kind of smiles and looks back at the doorway and closes his eyes and sticks his arm through the doorway but just his arm ah he has tried to become your twin bellamy oh god so, hold on, wait, repeat what you just did. I smiled 
being cocky and mischievous and am now testing it. And okay. <laughs> I have closed my eyes and I have stuck my arm through the portal. Through the Nothing's through the happened. threshold. Nothing's happened. Is his arm still there? Yep. For us. <laughs> Unfortunately for you. <laughs> Uh, Jeremiah mulls it over and then walks through again. And he's gone. I will open my eyes. And suddenly you are back in the entrance. Not to the Oh, like 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 the hallway that you came down through. You are in the the part of that that is just before you enter the cavern. I assume we see him reappear. Yes, he's a little further up the hallway than you would have expected, but he's there. Ah, he made it farther this time. Oh, that was mm -hmm. weird. It's especially Look, weird for you... you because you could have sworn you were going down, not up. Okay, then. And he's kind of just looking up and around, like, corner of his eyes, just kind of looking around. Very, very Johnny Depp-esque. <laughs> <laughs> what if you were to close your eyes and pass through again like you did the first time and somehow open this door for us to pass through? Just close your eyes and walk through it. Why? Uh, you die. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, Once again, offer my aid, Bellamy, on in crossing the room for this. Sure. And once again, asking right. you to return the slab. And while Stop. while most people would think to take the arm of the individual that they are leading, you're going to carry me, pick them up or something. They uh, Simon's arms will. Uh, his hands will prop up from behind you in your armpits and lift you up unceremoniously and just stalk forward. <laughs> like a small animal. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. like a three year old child, but that would also work. I was thinking Lion King. Okay. <laughs> that also works, yes. <laughs> like a small animal you are con that you don't want to hold too close because you are concerned it will pee uh. on you. Now, Forge, this this may get a little weird. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Uh, it may. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you guys are making a huge deal about nothing. Please, uh, please be I, gentle. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I hospital me through the door. No. No. Um, <laughs> okay. Do you have ragdoll mechanics? <laughs> Let us find out. <laughs> What is your physics engine? Oh, God. I am going to turn off my photoreceptacles, but I am going to continue to allow my ghost to telepathically uh, give me its sight. Do okay. I, as Simon, see the, the purple? No. The purple. Okay. I am going to disconnect the mental link with the ghost and have it attach itself to me. Now do I see it? Fantastic. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I, I have, Both I have of us? totally stopped to do so. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. Uh, you now see oh, a purple flat. I now see the purple? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will maintain sight until I reach the door, then I will turn off the sight once more and step through. Okay. Clever bastard. I'm sorry. He does have an intelligence of 20. That is what he does. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been taking it. You. Uh, but yeah, My you funny are, puzzle. You are now in this dimly purple lit hallway that seems to be angled down. I shall continue. Okay. You put me down. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, you continue down. And uh, the further down you go, the, the the like ever so slowly, this dim purple glow brightens until you are seeing these and this uh, basically omnipresent purple 
uh, purple, uh, purple glow, uh, and I- interspersed with these motes of bright purple sparks of light. I am going to faintly, as if whispering, say, I do believe I am seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I will continue until I have most likely entered this uh, (coughs) period of display. Yep. Uh, you, uh, you enter another, uh, a, a similar archway to the first one. All right. Once I have passed through that, I will once again engage my photo receptacles. Okay. Uh, and you are back outside. He's still holding me. Uh, I you are no me. longer holding Bell. Oh. So immediately, he just... I'll look at my hand. Does she just drop <laughs> from the middle of... From midair? <laughs> Very confused. Actually, I'll tell you what. You're no longer holding Bell, but the, sc- <laughs> the scraps of cloth that made up Bell's shirt in his armpits, those hey, are on No, is hand. he... No, is he holding my cloak of the manta ray? <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, good. He, uh, like, you you now suddenly have holes where, uh, in, where, uh, in your shirt where your armpits are. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shit. <laughs> Fuck. This is great because we're you're just getting jolted around as I take big heavy steps. Yeah. I pass yep. through this gate after saying, "I believe I have seen the light at the end of the tunnel." Then, <laughs> boof, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> oh no! So remember that conversation I had last night about how their lifespans are much longer than ours. Apparently not. Well, I didn't think that's how they ended. Uh, uh, he's, he's found Jesus. He'll be fine. Who is Jesus? He's found something. You don't know this. Hey, Zeus. <laughs> you hear his voice whispered dimly from above. <laughs> um, while they had been doing that, uh, Jeremiah had gone to closing his eyes again and trying to cross in from where he was. So you're going back in. Yep. Into the, into the purple oh, we go. God. Okay. And then you just find me on the floor with no arm. No, you picture. you uh you cannot see Bell. Also, roll a dexterity saving throw. Um, Fourteen. Okay. Uh, you stumble, but do not trimp over Bell's splayed legs. I still don't see it. He... Do I feel him trip over uh, me? Yes, you do, but you do not know it's him. The hell? Oh, God. Can I hear him? Yes. But we cannot see each other with our eyes closed, correct? Correct. But you can see the de- uh, details of the room. What's in the room? What's there in the box? A... There is a stone plinth <laughs> with... Seven boxes. Seven. <laughs> there is a uh, there. There's a heptagon, and, the, and the, each box faces one of the planes of the heptagon. Is there any other design on the boxes or the sides of the heptagon? An eight-pointed star. Hmm. <laughs> there's no writing or instruction or anything else. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well. I'm going to go inspect the seventh box. They're okay. still seeing all this with their eyes closed, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, my gut instinct is to investigate to see if there's any sort of like, danger about them. Can I do that? Sure. Okay. Uh, that's a 14. Everything looks fine. Okay. I am currently inspecting the seventh box. You sure are. <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> uh, it looks uh-huh. as previously described. I'm going to pick it up. 
Well, let me let me ask do this: Is it is it like are we like talking like a cardboard box? Like what what do they look like specifically? Oh yes, the, you know, fantasy cardboard. Yes, <laughs> fantasy cardboard. Yes. You no, mean the walls box. they make up it, all? It's like, a, it's like a wooden. It's a wooden box. Is it an open like box? Chest, like, like a tiny chest. Like five, six size. Like no, no, like a tiny chest. Okay. Bigger than a I... bread box. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see what is in the bread box. <laughs> Yeah, as Jeremiah opens up, um, picks and opens the seventh box, do I just see it opening on its own? Uh, yes. Also, Jeremiah, roll a wisdom saving throw. Yay! <laughs> 20. Augmented 20. Okay. A spray of green light uh, blasts out of the box directly into your eyes, and you take... 10 points of psychic damage. Oh my god. How much? 10. Okay, that's a third of me right there. <laughs> oh, son of a freaking lichen. Oh. What did you do? Where are you at? I'm in the room with the boxes. I assume you just did something foolish and opened that one. I don't know what you're talking about. I can see the box. It's clearly open. What was that green light? How hurt are you? And yes, you did deserve it. These are all accurate summaries. Uh, I've been better. My eyes hurt. What happened to Simon? Uh, he was during this time. Have, you, <laughs> he I was have, carrying you. What are you asking me for? What happened to Simon? You tell me. Right. I don't know what happened. Do you? Did you find him? Did you see him? Did you pass him on your way in? I haven't gone anywhere. God damn it! <sighs> Meanwhile, I have backtracked, disabled photoreceptors, and have begun making my way back to where I last saw. Uh, let me. Excellent. You are now seeing the scene as previously described. All right. I, I am Ginger upon my entrance. Hello, me. I am hailing you. Simon? <laughs> and we don't see him. He doesn't see us. Correct. On all counts. Simon? Uh, Jeremiah is also here. I cannot see either of you. These seven boxes clearly have some sort of grand, grand magic about them. Jeremiah opened one of them. So... I don't know what the next step is. I am beginning to be convinced that he does not wish to add digits to himself. <laughs> well, I mean, it's either that or we just stand here, like we are currently. Do you want to keep opening the rest of the boxes, then? Not personally. I say we make the Warforge do it. God. He's literally tankier than us. Uh, through this non I will remind the party the that edge. it was a wisdom saving throw, not a constitution saving throw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jacob. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, not to be um, that. Not why to would be you that be? Person, but I need to use. I need to use the restroom, so I will be right here. Alrighty. Yep, you go do that. Sounds good. I will let the I dogs out. And who? I don't. I have two dogs at my house. Woof, they. Who? Woof. Yes. Who? Who? Yes. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it can't decide whether or not to cut this. But Hobbit said, "If I did it without editing, so just, whatever." No editing. Hi, mom. Hi, Haven. Hello. I miss you both. I hope you're having fun. I hope you've enjoyed our game. I hope it's not too boring. This has been great, by the way. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Uh, uh, do not think that I have not noticed that after two of the players took the gem of seeing, you built a puzzle off of not being able to see. Ironically, I had this puzzle made before the before the gem of seeing thing. <laughs> Oh, that's great.
was asking a question, and I'm not sure if it's going to be useful for the others to know the answer. Uh, in the non-sight that we're experiencing, are we able to see the edge of the room? Oh, yeah. You can see the room in perfect detail, except all in purple. Okay. And the boxes are yellow, you said? No, the boxes are also purple. Okay. Uh, but the light, uh, not that, not that you, um, Hello. Not uh, back. words that I had. Not that you, Simon, know this, but the light that splashed out at Kelso was green. Okay. What are we doing? What's our next step? I do believe light was described. Yes. Okay. I mean, I have a couple options. Some that are kind of dumb. I don't know. There's no dumb options, only options that are dumb. <laughs> and there's obviously no doorway out of this place. Uh, aside from the one you came through. Right. Seven boxes. Uh, how are they aligned? Oh, Mr. Uh, so there is a there is a seven sided right, plinth. The There's a seven sided plinth uh, in the middle of the room, and each box is facing one side of the plinth. Okay. Do the, you say facing? Do the boxes have a front? Yes. Okay. They have a little hinge on the back, but the lid the lid opens up one. Okay. And the seventh box is now open intriguing uh if i walk up to it and remain 10 feet away can i see inside of it yeah it looks empty okay i would appreciate uh, i guess i should probably just wait for kelso shouldn't jump the gun Well, what's the fun if there's no gun to jump, though? Yeah. Emma, I really like Bellamy. This is, he's a cool oh, character. Thanks. Already. Thank you. I, I love Simon. He's very wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love him. Oh. But then again, I'm, I'm easy. I like most D&D &D characters. That's just fair. in general. This is true. She does. Yeah. yeah. And you, you play with Forge often, right? Are you part of his main campaign? Yeah, I'm I'm in the one that uh, he's currently been doing. I play a ranger in that one uh, who has kind of a reputation. So that's that's going to be fun for me when we get back to that. A, a reputation, you say? Is this a walk into town, look at the post board, and ask yep. if, you're elite, uh, if you're wanted in this town? Yep. Yeah, uh, kind of. Not even kind of. Uh, kind you are of. literally wanted in some place. And this, yeah, actually, no, and even then in the first one, I was ended up wanted too. I did go to jail exactly. in that one too. It's always nice to be wanted. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the sorrow behind that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wife. Shut up. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> No, uh, if you guys are still going to Kobe on that game, uh, I was looking to play Bell in that one, too. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the potential of that one. I, I've wanted to do yeah. that one for quite a while now, ever since Fortune I talked about like it. Yeah. I do still periodically play... do a little dance around the room when I think about it. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I still, my head just immediately goes to costuming. Uh, yes. Because <laughs> I am extra in a theater kid. Nice. As one do. As most of us are, in all honesty, those who play D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> do you play a lot of D&D &D other than uh, Forge's game? Uh, not not really. Um, I've tried writing my own, but I, 
they suffer the everything is a first draft and the first draft is the worst thing i've ever done so i don't succeed very often i feel you there i feel you um otherwise my dad has been playing ever since like like a D D. we have like the old monster manuals and everything like that nice. uh, but they they are stat based players they care about the rules and they are not super fun to play with big yikes yeah You're a narrative i mean he's then? yeah my dad my dad has gotten better because he is actually playing in a narrative based game so he kind of has expanded a little little bit but still it's just like hmm it's still kind of hard because he he talks about just the whole min maxing thing so. mm, yeah i mean he's he's getting better <laughs> he's recovering <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> He's a min maxer, anonymous. <laughs> that brings a whole new, whole new meaning to an MMA group. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. Uh, so clearly the plan is we, we open all of the boxes and unleash the devil himself. Yeah, right? totally. Uh, stick your head in it real quick as well, just to yep. just to make sure. <laughs> Pop your head into another realm, see what's up. Yeah, just, just to get that really quick blast of like a sun can. Take a big sniff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cartoon where your hair is blown at back and your face is covered in soot. I was thinking more Ark of the Covenant, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Opens the seventh box. Hi, Vsauce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kelso opened the seventh one, so. I mean, got a burst of pure, unadulterated eldritch power. Yeah. Which, it's if fine. you think about it's it, my, my... Forge hmm. and Seven <laughs> and Eldritch. Oh, I know. I, I'm was, aware of, it was of the not ties going on here. Did you not hear me cackling yeah. when he started talking about seven boxes? I specifically oh, yeah. opened the seventh box. <laughs> I, I knew that someone was yeah. going to. I anticipated. It was either him or me. I mean, and also, I would have opened up the fifth box, so... Ew. Shut up. Ew. I have reasons just like you have your reasons. I hate five. Both of you to assume that he has reasons. I hate seven. No, he has reasons. Sometimes. <laughs> he dabbles. <laughs> I, I dabble in reasons. <laughs> Sometimes he's logical. I'm going to grab one thing real quick. Hold on. Okay. I was about to say we should get back into it, but there goes Kelso again. Yeah. There he goes. Unless there's there's some sort of pattern correlation with them and the sides of what they're presented towards. Yeah, you, you said the they're star. surrounding something and you used a word that I'm not familiar with. Plinch? A plinth? Yes, what is a plinth? plinth? It's like a little half column that you set things on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is My there first thought is the map, but I don't see how that would work i mean you could always try looking at the map see if anything happens no i mean putting putting if if okay so if the boxes are facing opening towards whatever is supposed to be on the little column clearly there should be something to collect the energy right that's what i'm thinking they're not facing we towards the column they're facing right. away I from thought it. they were i thought they were facing no, towards fa my mistake ever is, thin, but each one is facing uh, facing uh the outside facet of the the side okay. it's on. Okay, I rescind that statement. I assumed the opposite. Well, you know what they say about assuming. I mean, from the outside way they described it, it sounded like the opposite. It. <laughs> I am now okay. very confused because I think I was on the same same page as Emma. Are okay. they facing the Stop. wall that they're facing? Yeah, oh. I was okay. in semi the semicircle. Imagine, imagine a heptagon. Okay, yeah, I see it now. You put a box at each side of the heptagon. It opens with the lid. Okay, the, the hinges are all facing inwards. So the okay. box, okay. Op that's the way that the box opens out. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. definitely heard it the opposite way earlier. Yeah, I thought it was the opposite. No. Okay. 
Okay, so the box wrong. opens towards the center? No, the uh, box opens away from the center. Okay. okay. Rituals! What do we do? I would like to suggest that we take counsel with one another to formulate a plan. Well, opening that one didn't feel too good. It didn't look too good either. Do you feel damaged? <laughs> yes. Emotionally, yes. <laughs> physically, also yes. <laughs> also physically. <laughs> I felt better, to say the least. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I would like to uh, walk around the room uh, counterclockwise with my hand against the wall to just check to make sure that the wall is actually what we appear to be seeing. You said counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. We we still can three cannot still see each other, correct? Correct. Okay. We're currently talking into the aether and all hearing each other for it. Right, right. Through it. Mm -hmm. We can't see ourselves either, can we? Uh, nope. Okay, I thought as much. I was gonna say a mental self image, but I'm not sure if War for it has one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a 3D himself. model. <laughs> <laughs> it's T-po- it, it's perma t It's T-posing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Slides across the ground. <laughs> Slides, they levitate. What are you talking about? <laughs> I shall assert dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Cast fly on self. <laughs> Opening boxes has proven unfruitful. What would be your next suggestion? Dude, I don't know. I can't honestly think of anything. I would like to approach <coughs> the plinth from the side that a box the box is already open at. And I would like to inspect the plinth itself. Okay. Hmm. Roll an investigation check. That is super cocked. That is also super cocked. Come on. There we go. That is a natural 20, making it a 28. Fantastic. You notice the motes of light in the room are okay, slowly we're... orbiting this plinth in a counterclockwise motion. Same direction that I walked around the room. No, you walked counter. Uh, you walked clockwise. Counterclockwise. Okay, I would like. I would like to follow one of the lights around the room, just walking around counterclockwise. Okay, you walk around counterclockwise, and suddenly there are eight chests. Uh, does everyone see this? No. Okay. I have unlocked a secret. Hmm. An eighth chest has apparated. What did you do? A new challenger has appeared. I rotated my form around the room in a counterclockwise motion, following the motes of light that spin in the middle of the air. Jeremiah begins looking around the room. Yep, same. For what? The motes of light. The so lights? Like, you all have been seeing them the whole time. Oh, okay. I said this as you were walking down. To be okay. Fair, I do remember. There's been a lot of things to notice. <laughs> and at the same time, nothing to notice. <laughs> I was I was a little distracted with armpit sleeves at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of picture the Warforge just looking at his hands with that are now like adhered to cloth and he just starts no, they're not, they're shaking not them. Trying they, are, to... <laughs> they, are, they, are draped, they were draped over them until you moved your hands. <laughs> Okay, well, then I do the same as Simon Simon told. Okay, now there's an eighth chest. Yep. Yep, there's an eighth one. 
Intriguing. I would like Can to we walk open the eighth the room one clockwise now. The chest is gone. What happens if you walk around counterclockwise again? My experiment has my experiment has shown that if you walk around the room clockwise, the chest disappears once more. I will make the chest reappear by walking counterclockwise once more. Okay. Did you watch? A, did you walk a full circuit or just a little bit? A full, I a, a a full, full circle. circuit. Walk a second full circuit. Yeah. I believe this is wise advice. I do so. The room explode. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you walk you around. You have betrayed me. I will never forgive you for this. <laughs> you will not. <laughs> Target acquired. Uh, no, you see in the um, upper left hand corner of your vision. Simon will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, nothing Current happens. objective: survive. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> Current objective: survive. <laughs> Boss music starts playing in the distance. Oh, it's playing out of the war forge. <laughs> it's the it's the beast. Sanic music. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the underwater Sanic music. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Fuck the labyrinth, okay? Are you, like the movie? Jeremiah, would you... No, the underwater. <laughs> oh. Would you like to approach the, do the box? Not particularly. Understandable. I will approach the box. Okay, the you haven't approached it to inspect the eighth box. I would like to see if it is trapped. Okay, first roll me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. The box the box notices <laughs> being approached. <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> uh, that's a 24. Okay, you're fine. Uh, your head hurts a little bit from trying to figure out how there is an eighth box on a seventh a seven-sided column, but you approach it nonetheless. I see. So I I uh, I imagined it on top of the plinth but that makes sense uh and you want an investigation for the trap finding correct yeah sure that is a 24 nothing all right i will open the box confidently uh, within there is you're pretty sure it's a key it is a piece of dark metal resembling, but not quite exactly like raw iron. And it is twisted and warped in ways you can't even fully describe. But it has a handle and it has what looks like are supposed to be teeth, so you're assuming it's a key. Alright. Is there a way for me to hook it to the tip of a dagger and pick it up that way? Roll me a dexterity check. All right, that's fair. Or, um, I guess this would be sleight of hand. Okay, I think that's the same thing for me. Either way, it's a 17. Okay. Um, hmm. You managed to sort of, you, you basically managed to, like, 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 using your dagger like a spatula, you're sort of holding this key. Okay, so there's no, like, hook on the back, or, or no. hook on the back to connect to anything. Okay. I have obtained a key. They can see that because the key is now floating in the air. I am unaware as to any lock that this may connect to, save for the door that we were unable to open earlier. Uh, real quick, did the door ha appear to have a hole for a lock? Nope. All right. I don't think that door had a keyhole. It was stone. It does not mean that it will not now have a keyhole. Decent point. What about you? What do you think, Bells? I think that it could very well acquire a keyhole. Um, either way, either we return to that door with our eyes still closed <laughs> and see if we come back together or remain separate, or we open our eyes and go back to the entire beginning again, 
But that raises the question of will the key be with us when that happens? I believe it is worth checking. Jeremiah shrugs his shoulders, knowing that neither of you can see it, but uh, <clears throat> mulls it over. Split the difference? How is How? it you suggest that we do so? One of us opens our eyes, walks back. One of us doesn't open their eyes at all, all the way up to the door. And the third one opens their eyes once they cross the threshold. Simon has the key. Simon Simon's holding I the key, so he should remain blind for the entire duration. Okay. This I agree with. I can open my eyes now. You should ascend first, however. Okay. I would not like to trip on either of you and lose the key. Okay. Jeremiah opens his eyes. And I guess I'll walk out. Uh, you warp up. You see two strips of cloth on the ground. <laughs> Yes, they're strangely uh, yeah. hand-shaped, and they don't smell great. <laughs> uh, if nice. Bellamy goes up, I will follow. I've I will seen keep stranger. my photoreceptacles disconnected until I can reach where I know for a fact the door to be, because I have keen mind. All right, roll a dexterity saving throw. And All you right. can accurately count your paces. I can an accurately count my paces. Uh, that's, oh man, that's a natural 19, so a 22. Yeah, I suppose you're fine. Uh, you reach the door, and you still don't see a, a, a keyhole until you bring the key within close proximity to the door, at which point, uh, in the exact center, uh, you see a slight purple shine. All right. I should have thought to add Mage Hand, but I did not. But that's fine. Uh, Bellamy, you opened your eyes, correct? Yep. I can Once I reach the, the threshold key. of the door. Say again? Can Bellamy and Jeremiah see the key? Uh, has Jeremiah made his way back down? He's working on it. Okay, uh, we'll just say for the sake of argument you're down. Uh, the two of you roll uh, Wisdom Saving throws. Okay. Uh, that. I'll say 16. Okay. That she also is 16. Okay. Uh, two, you have a headache, but are otherwise fine. Um, uh, what's his name? Simon is hold, uh, holding something, but you can't tell what because it looks like reality is warped itself around whatever he's holding so you can't see anything but at the same time you can see something but you don't know what it is it's more of like a like a distorted light source than an actual tangible object uh yes hmm. like a funhouse mirror yes in the shape of the <clears throat> but concentrated okay. to a point yes I like this. <laughs> I close my eyes and look at it? Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, Wait, when you say nothing, uh, like it looks the same, or there's nothing there now? There's nothing there. Oh. Interesting. Okay. You're completely blind in this room. I open my eyes. You are now in another room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are back in front of the priest. <laughs> She has more cookies. For you. <laughs> oh, Screaming very... intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> I will very gingerly touch the key and place it in the lock and twist. Okay, you guys hear a slight scrape and then a crun the crunch of a lock. And then this door splits in half and swings outward. But not the half you'd expect. So, so what's horizontal? So horizontally? <laughs> Diagonally. Yeah, I was gonna say. Alright. Uh 
I assume I don't see anything special with my photo receptacles still inactive. Correct. All right. Shall I re-engage my photo receptacles? The door is open. Go ahead. The gates are open. The What's little in the next modes room? of violet light will reappear. And the key vanishes. All right. Nicely done. You solved your key puzzle. You sure did. Now what? You poor blind fools. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh, Hello sorry. there, Sonny. You stole this I lifting drink. Give him back the I'll key, pull Charlie. Back out the ghost and kind of pushed into the room. What do I see? 